Danielle started there when she was four for preschool and she's graduating high school this year, so 14 years ago. I'm bad at math. And then she <laughs> stayed until she aged out at 10. And then Riley started when she was three and she stayed until she aged out at 10. So they both did preschool and they both did the after school program. I had Miss Jeannie, I had Miss Brenda, Miss Abby. I think that was it, right? Yeah. There might have been somebody else, but yeah. Yeah, those are the main, main three. Yeah. I had Miss Shelley, Miss Ruth, Miss Isabel, and Miss Randy. And Miss Abby. Oh, and Miss mm -hmm. Abby. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I actually saw it's earlier today on our fridge. We have a picture at Bright Beginnings. We did like career day. They gave us costumes and we all took pictures. I wanted to be a doctor, you know, <laughs> big dreams. <laughs> that was, I remember that. I think mine was whenever Ken would come into our class with his guitar and he'd like sing songs with us. And that was always really fun. I'm going to just say in general, and I might tear up, sorry if I do, <laughs> Riley was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when she was three. She was already going to Bright Beginnings, and we were really concerned and nervous about her being able to go to school, and everybody was so welcoming, and they were like, of course she can come back to school, and they were so above and beyond. Sorry, <laughs> they were so above and beyond um, about taking care of her and making sure she was healthy at school. And it went from everybody, from Kelly and Yvette in the office, all the way down to her teachers. And it was Miss Ruth and Miss Isabel that had her when she was four years old and they gave her her insulin and they helped her count carbs and they checked her blood sugar. And that doesn't seem like an everyday thing, but like to us, to entrust everybody to take care of our like <laughs> preschooler that had a medical need and they didn't even have like any question about it. It was just, of course, and what do we need to learn and what do we need to do? So that's my favorite. <laughs> I think it just was starting out with like treating everybody with kindness and recognizing like, I don't know, like nice things to say to each other and keep in mind people's like feelings and I don't know. I feel like now at school it's like if someone's like sad or something you go up and you like tell them it's gonna be okay and you're mm -hmm. just kind to everyone all the time. That was like important here going to school. Yeah, I feel like I always, still am, definitely was when I was a lot younger, like very nervous about going to school and it was really nice to kind of start off in an environment that was so welcoming and loving because it like set me up to be successful through the rest of like elementary school, middle school, high school. And yeah, now I'm almost done. So that foundation's kind of like carried through, so yeah. And I would say, <laughs> I'd say this about <laughs> Riley. Riley was really sad when she turned 10 and she couldn't come anymore and she had to go to campus club and she really did not like campus club and when school started again and she had to go to campus club she said nobody at campus club tells you that they love you and nobody tells you that jesus loves you and at bright beginnings they tell you that they love you and they tell you that jesus loves you and so that was that to me is like kind of like the whole point of bright beginnings and that that's kind of like i guess it's it's a memory of after the fact, but it kind of encompasses like the whole Bright Beginnings, you know, philosophy and foundation for the kids. I just I love Bright Beginnings. It. We had somebody here for nine years and it was like the greatest start to my kids' education before they got to public school. This was the greatest start um, for them, not just the, Jesus loves them, but they teach academics and they were so spot on and ready for kindergarten when they got there. And then the fact that they were able to stay here until they were 10 and, and participate in the after school program here was awesome. It just really set them up for success, like Danielle said, for the rest of, of their, you know, K-12 career and to be good humans. It started them off on the path to being good humans. <laughs>